So let's study how to determine what a customer is. The first is key words. What would the visual person say when they walk on a lot? I want to what? You're absolutely right. Write down look. Get your hand out. Write down look. See. Show. Could you please present? That's clear to me. So write down show, clear, view, picture. I could picture myself in a convertible. They'll actually use those words. Now when you determine that a person is visual based, what would you do then? You would what? Talk less and show more. Especially by the time I get to a test drive or the first pencil. You better know what a customer's process is. So the first way to tell what people are is keywords. So writing down the keywords will help you remember this. So if you're watching on this video, make sure you write down the words. It's the writing that helps you learn. So write down see, look, show, picture, view, clear, watch, observe. These are all visual based words. What would the auditory person say? I want to what? Ask, tell, heard. Sounds good to me. Now the visual person would not say sounds good to me. They'd say what? It looks good to me. And determining the brain talk learning style, switching my presentation, triple my rapport in one third of the time. What a great payback. So let's go over the visual words again. Look, see, show, what? Auditories. Let's write some more auditory words down. Uh, explain, discuss, said, said. Write that down again, said. Write that twice. And the reason I have you write that twice is because these people are storytellers. Da, da, da. Write down storytellers. Auditory people. Da, 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 da. Hang on, just, just a second. Let's hear just back up for just a second. Visual people judge everything on what they what. Come on, what they what? What they see. Absolutely. Auditories on what they hear. And kinesthetics on what they what. This may be new for some of you. Kinesthetics on what they what? Feel. Absolutely right. But where does feeling come from? What do we have five of? What do we have five of? Five senses. Exactly right. So if I like to see and hear, that means I'm kinesthetic. That means I use all the senses. So if you're a combination person, you like to see and hear, then you're a kinesthetic learner. Learning style is also my buying style. Again, this is not personalities. That's going to be coming on later on in the program. This is learning styles. And how a person learns is how they buy. Me personally, I'm a kinesthetic visual. Kinesthetic visual, I'm a kinesthetic. I like excitement. You get me excited and you show me something, watch this. Out comes my wallet. I'll buy something from you. But if you talk to me, you lose my attention. I'll go, yeah, I'm out of here. Give me your business card. I'm out of here. Why do I want your business card? Because I want to see your name, make sure I never use you in the future. How many of you have been in the car business more than two, five, seven years, have seen new salespeople come into the dealership and talk too much and talk themselves right out of a car transaction? I've watched it. I've seen it happen. I've watched it. And I've seen it happen. Now, why did I just say I've watched it and I've seen it happen instead of I've heard it? Because I'm visual based. So it was more comfortable for me just then to say I've watched it. I've seen it happen because I'm a visual based person. Now, I'm a visual person. You show me stuff, you got my attention. My wife is an auditory person. She's a kinesthetic auditory. She's a talker. Love her dearly, talks talks all the time. Now we have, and, and if I, now if I bring her flowers, what am I doing if I bring her flowers? You're absolutely right, I'm wasting money. But if I go two days without calling her on the, hi honey, hi. She, see I have to talk to her. She needs to hear me. She needs to hear my voice. And you may have a spouse that's like that, calls you 10, 15 times a day. My wife calls, if I don't call her, she's going to call me. I have to constantly talk to her. She's a talker. And every dealership has someone like this. They walk down the hallway, they're coming to your office and you're going, oh no, here he comes. Because you know it's going to be what? 20 minutes talking in your office. They're talkers. And they get an idea, it comes out of their mouth. They actually narrate their lives. They walk around, they talk all the time. Talk, 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 talk. That's just their nature. That's how they process. Me? No. Nah. Nah, if it looks good, I'll buy. You got a brochure? Show me the car. See, visual people are what? Looks good, I'll buy. Show me the vehicle, show me the numbers, and do that little back and forth thing you do with your manager exactly how I buy. But if you talk to me, dit, 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 you lose me. You absolutely lose me. So let's write down some more auditory based words. Discuss, explain. Now you're going to meet with somebody 10 days from now and they're visual based. Would they say, I'll talk to you later? No. What are they going to say? They're going to say what? I'll see you later. How about the auditory people? I'll talk to you later. So either, each person's a little bit different. And with my wife, I have to call her on the phone. What about your last three customers? 
What were they? Because if you call me on the phone as a follow-up and I'm visual-based, mm, you're going to upset me. I don't want you calling me. You text me, you email me, you've got my attention. 